here and today we have a 45 minute full body workout. Now I'm going to be using a pair of 10 pound and a pair of 15 pound dumbbells, but remember to use whichever weight is best for you. Every exercise will be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. During those 15 seconds, I'll tell you exactly what the next move is. You guys will be all set and I will be huffing and puffing and dying and retreating and stuff. So anyway, let's get warmed up and then we'll get right into the workouts. All right? Roar. All right guys, let's start it out just by bouncing it out. Nice and easy. Go side to side, whatever you want. Keeping the core nice and strong. Three, two, one, and let's add some small arm circles. So try to keep on bouncing it out if you can. But if you need to, you can always just do those small arm circles. Really reach with those fingertips out to the side. And then slowly start to make those circles big. Woo! Big sure goes. And then I'm just gonna propel towards you. No, I'm just kidding. Three, two, one, and bring it backwards. So small circles, starting out with really, again, reaching with those fingertips. And slowly start to make those circles bigger. Shoulders are already starting to burn. <laughs> Three, two, one, and go ahead, shake it out, shake it out. So feet out wide, we're gonna sink down side to side with some side lunges. So you wanna think about pushing your butt back, keeping your chest up and your back flat. One leg is gonna be straight, and the other one you're bending, but make sure you're not shooting that knee forward on that knee that you're bending. You're pushing your butt back, sinking down midfoot to heel, and then bringing it back. Keep flowing through. Sinky, sinky, let's go two more. Last one, and go ahead, butt kicks. So you wanna think about driving those knees up in front slightly, and then kicking that booty in back. Keep it going, keep it going. Feet out wide again, we're gonna kick across that body. So really think about exhale, crunch, so we can get a nice crunch for that core. We're warming that up. Keep it going. Cross. If you can't touch your toe, that's okay. Just reach as far as you can. No big deal. Let's go two more. Last one. And come on down to the ground. So walk it out, plank position, hands under the shoulders. Press back in the down dog and bicycle out those feet. So you really want to think about keeping those hips in the air, pressing fingertips and palms to the ground. And let's go ahead and stop that bicycle, bring it into a plank, and then shift back down dog. And we're just going to flow through, getting those shoulders, getting that core, making sure we're not dipping our lower back here, making sure we're keeping our arms straight the whole time. Keep it going. Let's go two more. Last one. And we're gonna flip it around. So feet out wide, hands behind you. We're gonna dip those hips side to side. Some nice movement mobility here. Now if you find you're crashing into your knees like this, you have to have your feet a little bit wider to make it a little bit easier. Three, two, one, and drop those hips over to the left. Add some movement here, side to side. You can get some twists in. Feel what um, is good for your body on this side today. Every day is a little bit different. Get some back bends. A little bit different than maybe your usual warm up, but keep that open mind. You can add some nice side stretches here, reaching, reaching. This is create your own journey. Do whatever feels best for you. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides then once you're ready. Every side's a little bit different. Reach through, ooh, this is nice. <laughs> keep it going, keep it going. Back bends, twists, pulses, whatever is good for your body today. And let's go ahead, three, two, and we're gonna curl the toes underneath, slowly bring it up, whoo. And bounce it out, we're gonna go right to jumping jacks. So go ahead, touch the hands at the top, Jump the feet out wide. Getting that heart rate up, getting it ready for the craziness to come. It is strength, cardio, and abs today, so everything. Almost done with our warm up, guys. Keep it up. Three, two, one, and let's go ahead. 
alternate back lunges. Sink down, you want to think about elevator, not escalator. So we're not shooting forward or leaning back. We're sinking straight down after we bring that back foot and back. Yes. Nice strong core, nice flat back. Let's go two more. Last one, and we're going to finish out with some skaters. So, some stability here. We're going to go to the side. Tap, tap. Try to hover your back foot if you can. If you can't, you can tap it, and you can always walk it out too, okay? So, just remember, every day that our body is different. Some days it's tired. Some days it has a lot more energy. So, it's all good. Either way, we appreciate it for what it can do. An awesome job just showing up today. That is half the battle. <laughs> Let's go two more. Last one. All right, dance it out. Shake it out. Let's get started. 15 seconds. We're going to start it out. So we're going to come into a lunge. We're going to switch, drive a knee in, bring it back, and switch again. Now, if that's too much for you, you're going to walk it out, drive a knee in, and then switch without jumping. So let's get it. Drive knee in, switch. Keep it going. Back is nice and flat. You want to think about placing that weight in that front leg, midfoot to heel, just like we did in the warm up when we were doing regular lunges. Your quads are going to start to feel this. Keep it up, guys. 15 seconds. Last time. Finish out. We got five, four, three, two. All right. So next up, continuing with cardio. We're going to go 180 degree high knees. Start out on the left side. High knees. Touch down with that squat. Try to keep your back flat, chest up in that squat. If you can't, you're going to walk it out so you can keep form. Sink down. Use your arms. Keep it going. And down. Two, three, six, ten. Keep it up, guys. You don't have to do ten minutes. I just counted. <laughs> it's just habit now. Keep going. We have a strength move after this. So give your all in this cardio. Nice job, guys. All right, so next up, I'm going to grab my 15s. So stabilize on my right leg. My left foot is going to go out. Side lunge, come up, tiptoe, and down. Let's go. Side lunge, tiptoe. Stay on the same leg. Do not alternate. Now, make sure you remember which leg you're stabilizing on. So I'm stabilizing on my right leg, because we're gonna do that again. Remember like in the warm up, keep your chest up, back flat, push your butt back. Other leg is straight. Sink down, come up. Woo. All right, so I'm going to drop one weight. I'm going to have the dumbbell in my right hand, stabilize on my right leg. We're going to curtsy, come up, front kick and press. Okay? So again, chest facing forward. Step back, sink down, and press. Now, if this is too intense, sink down, lightly tap the ground with that left foot, and press. Keep it going, guys. Oh my goodness. And pop. Sink it down. Bring it up and press. Keep it strong, guys. Oh my goodness. Last 10 seconds. 
And then we're gonna repeat the last two movements on the other side. And press. Oh, you know what? This is real time, baby. I forgot to add a kick <laughs> after my first few reps, but that's okay. Hopefully you guys kept going with it. Um, we'll manage the most is that you're getting the most out of this workout. So pushing the butt back, come on. As it happens when you talk, tighten the workout. Push your butt back, come up, and tiptoe. Now be intentional with your movements. Okay, make sure you're here with me right now. You're not thinking about any of the other stressors going on in your life. If you are, try matching them and putting them in a box and then putting that box off to the side, whether it be in this room or whatever. Whew. Those, those worries are not here with us right now. Right now you're focusing on you and improving yourself, getting stronger. Okay, so let's go ahead, curtsy. I'm gonna have the dumbbell in the left hand, chest facing forward, make sure you don't turn here. Chest forward, sitting down. Let's see if I remember to kick this time. <laughs> sinky, sinky, come up, kick and press. So that kick is optional, apparently. <laughs> Sink down and press. Now I have a cardio move after this, so enjoy this moment now. <laughs> Sink down, come up, press. In the next movement, you can use a weight or you can go without. Okay, so whew, 10 seconds. Sink down, come up, press and kick. Four, three, two, all right, so if you use a weight, I highly recommend using a lighter weight. From here, feet close together. One, two, three, squat touchdown, okay? Without, without the weight, it's up to you. You can step it, and then you can squat if you want to. All right, let's go. Chest up, back is flat. Make sure you're not a football player like this, okay? So, one, three. Keep that chest up. Keep it going, guys. Two, three. One, two, three. Sink. Two, three. And sink. Keep fighting through. Keep it up with that weight if you can. Yeah. We got it. Okay. All right, next up. Weighted knee pulse. So, with or without the weight, again, is up to you. You're gonna try to skip it out. Driving your knee up. If you can't do that, you're gonna walk it out. Exhale every time you drive your knees up so we get that crunch for our core. Keep it up, guys. chest up a little bit but nice and flat bring it out bring it out okay so we're working on the rear delt which is the back of the shoulder you want to make sure you're not bringing it back like this you're bringing it out into that T and mind muscle connection maybe think about it control that weight on the way up and down keep going guys We're gonna go to the other side right after this. Now make sure again you control it on the way down as well as the way up. 
almost there. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got the other side. Sweaty. It's hot now. <laughs> it's getting hot. All right, let's get ready. Three, two, one. And let's go out to the side. Bring it out. Keep it going, guys. My timer, I can't see some of the top number, like the, when we have our rest, I, it's, some of it's not like visible. So I'm like three. So I'm definitely looking to get a new timer. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. <laughs> I had like one off of my phone because I use my phone for the camera. So yeah, <laughs> do what you gotta do, baby. Keep it going, guys. Almost there. Exhale up, inhale down. Five, four, three, two. All right, guys, so next up, quite challenging. What we're gonna do is have our elbows in. We have a tricep push-up, plank jack. If that's not for you, remember, keep your elbows in anyway. Come to the knees, bring it up, and tap it, okay? I'm gonna give an even more advanced version right now, so go for it. You're gonna sink down, plank jack up here, Plank jack here. Yes. Am I up here? Am I down here? So whatever you got in you, go for it. Make sure your lower back doesn't dip when you come up. So you want to think about squeezing your core, squeezing your glutes. Nice, neutral neck. <laughs> Some triceps. Press. Keep going, guys. Three, two, all right. Whew, that was challenging. Okay, so next up, we're gonna have chest up, sit down, single leg squat, hop, and then you're gonna tap the opposite side foot. Try to stabilize on your right leg the whole time. So, chest up, back flat, sit down, hop, so this is nice stability here. You guys know I love adding stability. Try not to curl your toes as you stabilize. Drive it. This is also nice for our core because we get that cross crunch as we reach across. Oh my goodness. 10 seconds, guys. Remember, which leg you're on? Five, four, ah, three, two. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab my lighter weights, my tens, and I'm gonna do bicep curl, curl, bring it down, turn, lateral raise. Okay, so squeeze the biceps. Now you might be using lighter weight than you usually do for your biceps. So I want you to take advantage of this time. I want you to think about squeezing your biceps as much as you can when you do that curl and you're controlling it on the way down. That's gonna make the dumbbell seem a lot heavier. And it really makes us focus on that mind-muscle connection of working those biceps as we should be, but it's easy after a while. A while, oh, I went full Asian on you. <laughs> to uh, get messy with it. Oh gosh. Four, three, two. All right. So, it's a rio, guys. Gosh, I'm Asian. I can say that. It's cool. All right. So, we're going to stabilize on the left leg this time. Remember, keep your chest up, back flat, jump it up, and cross crunch. All right, guys. Get ready. So, sink down, hop. Woo! Sinky, sinky. Drive it up. And really think about when you drive it, think about driving it up towards the ceiling rather than forward. Okay, that's going to help you to land where you started off. I have to sneeze. So, just so you know, it's allergies and you can't get infected by me. <laughs> oh no, I talked about it too much. It's gone forever. Whew. 10 seconds, guys. 
keep it going. Ah. Five, four, three, two, and done. All right, so this one's gonna be fun. Side burpees. So what I like to do on this one, stagger my hands, but have the fingertips facing forward still. Angle my body to the side and come up, okay? So whichever side you're angling on, my hand is higher. I find this to be more comfortable. Whew. So as we angle our body out to the side for the burpees, really getting the obliques. Keep going, guys. And top. Over halfway already. Here come the sniffles. Oh my goodness. Keep going, guys. 10 seconds. Whew. Five, four, three, two. Okay. I'm going to grab one. 15. Okay. Toes out, chest up, sink down, come up to the tippy toes and press. So it's a tiptoe push press. Whew. Sink down, pop. So notice how it's explosive movement. Pop. So it's not come up and press, it's press as you come up. Whew. Strong core. Whew. Keep it up, guys. 25 seconds. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Whew. Almost there. Whew. 15. Up. Your heart rate still might be up. Whew. After this, I'm going to grab my light weights. Three, two, one. Okay, so grabbing both of my light weights. Oh my goodness. Palms are going to be facing up. We're going to do wide rows. So, row back, bring it back, and down. So, we're working rear delts and triceps. So, when you bring it back, elbows in and press back. I want you to think about those rear delts like we did in the rear delt flies earlier. Squeeze them intentionally. It's really easy for this one, again, to make them easy and not effective. Make it effective by squeezing and getting that mind-muscle connection. And as we press out, we're focusing on that squeeze and pressing out to get those triceps. Yes. Keep going, guys. 10 seconds. Oh, baby. Five, four, three, two. All right, so next up. If you can't do this one, we're gonna do a squat and knee up. If you can, you're gonna to come to the knees, hero's pose, come up, single leg, back and down, okay? So think about if you have children or grandchildren or kids with, or friends with kids, playing on the ground with them, doing some coloring stuff, phone rings, get up, up. You might not drive your knee up, but you'll probably start walking. So we wanna make sure we work this functional movement. If you wanna add weight, be my guest, <laughs> up and drive it. Highly recommend. Whew. Press through, bring it up. You can use a mat here too if your knees get a little wonk, wonked up from the hard flooring, if you have hard flooring. Four, three, two, all right. Okay, jumpy jack clap unders. So in this one, Jumpy jacks, but you're gonna kick your leg up, tap under. If that's too much, you can bend those knees, okay? If that's too much, you can walk it out. So you gotta kick your leg up pretty high, unless you decide just to bring your knee up. Keep it going, guys. 30 seconds. Again, getting the core while standing, but we're also getting cardio and shoulders if you didn't already feel it. <laughs> nice job, guys. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. 
So, okay. So, three-point squat, facing the left side. Squat forward, and then to the right, burpee. And come up. Walk out the burpee if you need to. Alright, so one, two, three. You can do a chest to floor burpee. Cross it style. <laughs> That's okay too. Woo. Keep it going, guys. 25 seconds. Back flat. It's really easy after you get tired to hunch over. Slow it down then. Okay? It's not worth the speed if we risk injury. Our incorrect form. All right. Next move. We're going to have toes out, feet out wide. We're going to come down. Now from here, reach back with one hand, reach forward, and then switch. You can walk it back to make it easier for yourself, okay? Now, if this is still too hard, what you can do is hold a plank and then do some shoulder taps because you're still bringing one limb off the ground. You're still challenging yourself in that way. This <laughs> burpees and the squat jumps got me a little bit. And forward, press, forward, keep it up guys. Whew. And forward, doing so good. Keep that core strong. Oh my goodness, this feels good. <laughs> this is really nice. Okay, so next up, <laughs> I'm gonna grab one weight in my left hand Stabilize on my right leg, single leg deadlift. And from here, stabilize, hammer curl. Okay, so bend the stabilizing leg slightly, back is flat, make sure I'm controlled here before I add the hammer curl. Another option for you, step your leg in back, bend stabilizing leg slightly, hinge from the hips, come up, hammer curl, okay? If your lower back starts to jump in, that probably means you're not pushing your butt back far enough because you really want to get those hamstrings and those glutes in this deadlift. So notice how before I add the hammer curl, I'm stable. Three, two, okay, so before we go to the other side, we're going to stabilize on the right leg again. We're going to go. Um, with a back lunge and then a side lunge, okay? So notice how I step out to the right. Oh my God, I'm burping, this is so ridiculous. So step, step to the side, push your butt back. So we're really burning out that right leg. Keep your chest up. We've already done these side lunges. We've already done these back lunges. So make sure you keep form in them. Chest is up, sink it back. Sometimes being an instructor can be challenging, especially when you like drink water and then you want to say something and you start choking on water and you're like, oh my god. And then you think about singers and concerts, or maybe it's just me. I always think about them. I'm like, does that happen to them like a lot? <laughs> Sing down. Alright guys, so we're gonna go a single leg deadlift again. Hammer curl on the other side. One side might be more challenging, so make sure you take your time. Modify if you need to. Hinge from the hips. I like to place my fingers on the iliac crest right here. So if you're like, what did she just say? It sounded very Star Trek. <laughs> Again, iliac crest is the bone right here. Dab bone. Dab bone, dab bone. What you gonna do? <laughs> and squeeze. Take your time. Another thing I like to do is bringing my arm out like this because it helps to stabilize me. But if you're really struggling with the hinge form, then I definitely recommend putting it right here. Nice job, guys. 10 seconds. <laughs> Almost there. We got five, four, three, two. 
One, okay, so back lunge, side lunge. You're gonna stabilize on that left leg this time. Bring it back, then the left leg steps over and bring it to the side. Let's get ready. All right, let's go. Back lunge, step. Now we are almost to abs, which is very exciting. Super important. If you've done workouts with me before, you know how much I emphasize doing abs because, yeah, deadlifts and squats and all that jazz, they target abs. But if you really concentrate, strengthen that core alone too every single movement that you do will be stronger and more doable and a strong core is going to help you have better posture it's going to prevent lower back pain so it's so important okay so from here side animal hops <laughs> movement flow i love this stuff so you're going to have you're going to crouch down Bring your hands to the outside of your feet, hop over, hands up, down, hop over. Now, if you're like, yeah, I can't do this, what you're gonna do is come into a plank and lift up. Because again, you're working on the shoulders, you're working on controlling your own body weight. Make sure you bring your hands up in between. Like you did something wrong, you're like, ah, ah, my spaghetti, I dropped it all over. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it coming. <laughs> Keep it up. I hope if you guys post me on your Instagram stories, which I love seeing by the way, that you choose that. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Five, four, three, two. All right. So I'm going to grab my my um, mat. I'm gonna lay down on my back. From here, you have a toe touch. Up, open the feet, reach through. Keep alternating. Toe touch, open the feet, and reach through. Really think about pressing belly button into the floor as you reach up and reach through. Oh my goodness. Up. Keep going, guys. And reach through. There are some people that can open their feet up like all the way and I'm like, ah, this is about it. <laughs> this is what's happening today. And reach. Keep it up, guys. Exhale up. Inhale down. All the way. Whew. Use your breath. Okay, so next up, what do we have? Cat can't read. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna come into a plank. No, push up position. Sorry, push up position. From here, kick under, Spider Man push up. I'll show you a mod right now. Kick under and spider. You can also, if you do that, come into a regular plank. It's gonna be a little bit easier. But if you can, <laughs> do that spider push up with me. You're gonna feel that in your core. Let me tell you. Try to do that spider push up if you can. I know that I'm not like in the same room as you technically, but I still want you to push. Don't stop, let's go. I used to do a lot of home workouts too. I know that you can stop, but you don't want to do that. All right. So next up, we're going to come back to that toe touch, but we're going to reach the opposite side. So reach to the left with the right hand and twist. So notice how I twist over to the side because that's really going to help to target those obliques because those are the ab muscles that help us to rotate. And those are those sweet muscles that have that V-shape. Those are nice. Those are nice. You want? Yes. You want those? I got what you need. <laughs> Good, guys. Remember, you cannot spot reduce those. So, no messages to me about how can I get rid of this. Guess what? Most likely, it's probably diet. You can build the muscle underneath, 
But without proper diet, you're not gonna see it. You're not gonna see it, darling. I'm here to, to bring the news. All right, so you're gonna have your dumbbell in the middle. From here, you're gonna bring it up, reach up, and switch. Keep it right next to the body like it's a bow. Okay, all the way, bring it up. If this is too challenging, go without the weight. Keep it going, guys. Keep your core strong. You can separate your feet wider for more stability to make it easier, too. Ooh, strong core. Squeeze. You guys got this. Let's go. Up. All the way up. And back. Ooh. Oh, baby. Up. And back. Okay, next movement, side V up with a 10 second fun ending, and I'll let you know. Okay, so bring it up to the side, your feet are slightly angled in front, so you don't have a straight body. Feet slightly in front, reach up, if this is too much, bring one leg up. Now notice how I bring my torso up, as well as my feet. So I'm not just bringing my feet up. If you want to, you can cross the feet, if that helps you to use just those obliques at the top rather than bringing in your hip flexors, okay? So remember the last 10 seconds, we're gonna hold at the top. Now you can keep going with this movement though, if it's not for you. Oh, get ready to hold in three, two, bicycle. From here, drive those knees in, kick it out, kick it out, drive the knees in close to the nose, don't hit yourself though, as close as you can though. Three, two, one. All right, let's go the other side. We've got three moves left, guys, and then we're gonna cool it down, which is so important. So make sure you stay with me with the cool down. Even if you just do another workout and then come back to the cool down, don't make the same mistake that baby cat did throwing up and not doing the cool down. You will prevent so many injuries and issues and tightness and imbalances if you keep up with your stretching and mobility. I cannot stress it enough. It's great that you're working on your strength and your cardio. Mobility is super important too. Exhale up, inhale down. 10 seconds until we hold. Woo. Four, three, two, bicycle. Drive the knees in, don't hit your nose though. Your beautiful mushroom strawberry nose, whatever you've got, English nose, I don't know. Three, two, one. All right, so starfish crunches. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, you're going to hover your head and your feet, and you're going to reach across the body, bringing the arms overhead in between. If you want to make it easier, you guys are going to go for it. Go ahead, rest it, and reach, and then use this arm to help push you up. Let's go. Use your breath. Really think about pressing my belly button into the ground to get rid of that space between my lower back and the floor. I don't want that because otherwise our lower back is gonna jump in and or hip flexors. And we wanna make sure we use the core to help bring ourselves up. Ugh. Oh gosh, three, two, Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this is what's next. Okay. So last movement, guys. Yay! Working the lower back. Superman pulls. I don't like these either. <laughs> but we got to do them. Lift up, pull down. Neck is neutral. Lift up. Extend. Squeeze and down. Think about squeezing. Shoulder blades together. Down, up, keep going guys, oh my goodness, up, and down, keep it up, neck neutral, we're almost there, up, gotta strengthen that lower back and upper back, lower back is part of the core, so we gotta make sure it's strong, and 
done. Oh, we are stretching. We are stretching. Make sure you stretch with me. If you do have to go for some reason, please do like the video, comment before you go. But if not, let's do this. We did it. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and start with the cool down. Kind of integrate some of the stuff we did in the work. So feet out wide, dip it side to side. Again, mobility work. We don't want to do just static stretching. We want to make sure we do some mobility stuff because I'm sure some of you are just starting your day where you have more stuff to do. And drop it over to the left. This time we're for sure going to twist. So have your spine tall, right hand to the left, left hand back, inhale, grow tall, exhale, twist and turn. Inhale, tall, exhale, turn. Keep going through it. Breathe. And slowly release. Whew. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and place those hands, uh, in, not in between, to the sides of this left knee. Have your back flat and lean forward. This is nice for the hips. Sometimes I can't words. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Ooh, grow tall on that spine. Left hand to the right knee, right hand and back. Inhale, grow tall, exhale, twist. Inhale, tall, exhale, twist. Ooh, so nice. Oh my gosh. This side is happy to have this stretch today. Go ahead and unwind, but remember, you can stay as long as you want those stretches. Hands to the outside of that right knee. Back flat, add some pulses. Ooh. And let's go ahead and bring it back to center. All right, so we're going to um, pretzel, crisscross, applesauce, whatever you want to call this, I don't know. Uh, grow tall on the spine. We're gonna have hands up, and then inhale, cross, look up, relax the face. Exhale, squeeze, pull down. Inhale, grow tall, reach. Exhale, I feel this in my mid back. Keep it going. Inhale, tall. Exhale, pull. And go ahead. A few shoulder roundness. We're going to do a variation of cat cow. Hands onto the knees. From here, inhale, open up the chest, relax that face. You can open up your mouth, it looks funny, but whatever. Exhale, pull back, tuck the chin, the chest around. Inhale, open up. Exhale. Inhale, breathe up. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Oh my goodness. Oh, that feels so nice. Okay. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go around and we're gonna come into tabletop, get the shoulders, walk the hands forward, keep the knees where they are, right under the hips. And I like to come to my fingertips to get a bigger stretch. No pulsate and go side to side, whatever feels good for you. Ooh, that one was fun today. <laughs> that was fun, but I was definitely feeling it. <laughs> and Ooh, breathe. Go ahead, walk it back. And we're gonna curl the toes underneath, push those hips back, straighten out the legs. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and cross over the right foot, the left knee, bend the knee slightly, come down as low as you can, breathe. Did you feel this mainly in the back calf? Go ahead, slowly roll up a little bit, and then switch. Wait, yes. <laughs> like, did I just, did I just go back? No, 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 I didn't, okay. <laughs> Cat, what are you doing? Breathe. And ladies, this is where you get to check if you missed a spot in shaving. I sure did. Quite a few days in a row, apparently. And <laughs> slowly roll it up. <laughs> Roll up the shoulders. Woo. Left arm across the body and pull. Look over the left shoulder. Breathe. 
Shake it out, other side. And shake it out. Last one, guys. The most important stretch of them all. I just can't stress it enough. <laughs> Let's go ahead, clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. You're done for today. We did it. You guys did it. We completed our crazy, awesome, full body workout for the day. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, please do like the video before you go. It only takes like a second. Um, and also comment below. Both of those help my video out so much. Helps to reach more people because YouTube is like, oh, people like this video. I'm going to keep showing it to more and more people. And it's wonderful. So that way we can build our team of warriors. It's very exciting. And if you also want to support my channel even more, I do have a link down in my description. It says support my channel with a black arrow. And it takes you to a link and it's like, hey, hey, I like working out with Gap. Uh, that would also be amazing. So thank you all for joining me. I hope to see you soon. And don't forget to follow me at Cat Moose Me Fitness on Instagram. I post a lot of fun stuff, sometimes just like my lightsaber spinning, sometimes uh, just random stuff. So yeah, thank you! <laughs>